The never-ending battle between Taco Bell and Del Taco. I basically go to Del Taco whenever I'm tired of Taco Bell, and then when I'm tired of Del Taco, then I'll go to Taco Bell. So about a couple months ago, Taco Bell released the Birria Tacos. Now, if you're white like me and you don't know what Birria Tacos are, let me explain it. It's kind of just, uh, it's like a dip. It's like a beef juice dip. That shit hits. It looks like diarrhea, but holy fuck, it tastes nothing of the sorts. It's very fatty, very fatty, beefy and oily sauce. It's just that sauce that you want to slap on a bitch's ass. So they they have, okay, this is crazy. This is crazy. Get this. Beef birria tacos, beef birria quesadillas, and beef birria ramen. Ramen fucking noodles, ladies and gentlemen, at a fast food restaurant. And, uh, how does that work? How does that work? Should we uh, indulge in these tacos? Oh, wait. Wait. Hmm. Yep, that's going in the spank bank. Birria tacos are really something that can only be good if it's made by a true Mexican restaurant. Like Taco Bell version, it actually tasted like, you know, like a McDonald's birria taco. It just like something was off. I was like, this is not right. This does not hit like it should because I've had a birria taco. It made me, it made me squirt on the floor. So I'm very curious to see what's up with Del Taco's version. For some reason, something inside of me is telling me that Del Taco is a little more authentic than Taco Bell. I know they're both American as fuck, but I don't know. I just like, you know, I got that feeling inside of me. So this is the, oh my, look at that. Is this real life? Now I really appreciate Del Taco because they put quite an effort for new items. They're always dropping something new. They're very daring. They have a lot of interesting things. You know, Taco Bell keeps it a bit simple. I mean, to drop ramen, that's just, that's ridiculous. I'm really hoping it's good. If ramen that's 25 cents from Walmart is good, you know, this has to be great. I'm not sure if this is the sauce or the ramen. Oh, yep, that's the ramen right there, ladies and gentlemen. Can you believe that? I'm not gonna start with the ramen. It's a little intimidating. It scares me. Has food ever scared you? I'm a little scared of it. Let's start with the uh the taco so right here we have the birria sauce let's give it a good old sniff check oh, look at that oh, jesus christ oh, 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 what can I say? It's beef sauce. So we'll set this beef sauce down here. All right, let's undress this little slut. Oh, that's the quesadilla. Okay, here we go. You know, I've never been a fan of Del Taco's quesadillas. Oh, wow. Oh, they do not usually look like this. Oh, wow, look at that. You know, is this Taco Bell? You cannot tell me that that is not a Taco Bell quesadilla. Wow, they're doing something here. They're doing something, I like it. It's interesting. So let's pull this taco out right here. Oh, Jesus, sweet Jesus. Oh my God, oh. <gasps> Oh, a cheese pull? Never have usually seen those at Taco Bell. Let's just say that. Oh my God. Okay, here she goes. Let's penetrate it. Oh, I thought it'd be more saucy. I thought it'd be a little more saucy. A little more saucy. It's not that saucy. Thought it'd be a little more saucy. Oh my God, do you see the wetness? Do you see that soak? Look, it's soaked halfway up. Jesus Christ. It's little moments like this where I appreciate living. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate life. You know, we get to have little sweet moments like this. You know, if you ever felt like you don't want to live, just know that we all die one day. It's going to happen. Just be patient. Okay. It'll happen one day. Let's just fucking live, baby. Let's just live it up, baby. Nothing to be sad about. You know, get yourself a birria taco. Look at this. Nothing sad about this. Let's fucking hit it. Oh my fucking ass crack. Oh my fucking... <laughs> Lord have mercy. I am about to bust. Guys, this is just nothing like the Taco Bell one. The Taco Bell was a sad sack of shit. This is... You know, I'm... You know, I cannot speak for the Mexican culture. Who am I to say that this is somewhat close to... I mean, it's it. I can't say that. I can't say that, you know. I don't want the community mad at me. I can't say that's authentic, but you know what? God damn it, it's closer than Taco Bell. It doesn't feel that fake. I've had a really good beer at Taco, nothing will ever compare to it, but wow. I'm Mexican and Taco Bell sucks, in my opinion. I know.
know, I know. I get it. Mexican food, it's so much more superior than all these whitewashed restaurants. Here we go. Oh my God, do you hear the dip? It sounds like a little bit of meat beating. Oh my god. Oh. oh. Oopsie. Let's undress her real quick. Just take a look at the inside, okay? This is what we're working with here. See that? Imagine dipping that in wet, ooey gooey fat beef sauce. Like, I'm just saying, like, look what we're working with here. Guys, this is actually insane. Like, look at that. This is from a fast food restaurant, okay? The total was like $15. I mean, I live in LA. That's also a little higher than usual. You're saying, ew? Okay, you could fuck off and die. How dare you? This looks delicious. Look at that. Okay, don't picture it's like baby poop or anything, because you put that thought in my head now okay but it's good okay let me close that i feel like it's a little scary to look at i get that just look at it right like this okay wow guys can we not say it looks like a diaper you're making me lose my appetite the last thing i want to think about is butt juice this quesadilla you know what i'm gonna have to give it a four out of five i'm not kidding for fast food and you know for what it is fast food beer you taco the risk the taste the juice the boldness it's just ah oh, it's a four out of five it's a four out of five goosebumps on the gooch baby what can i say you got I try it. Let's hit the taco. Maybe it'll be even better. You sold me? Hell yeah. You know what? I like to sell people. Oh, I thought, oh, fuck. You know, that, that sounded horrible. My mom thinks you're handsome. Oh, that's funny because I think your mom's hot. Let's get into these tacos. Oh my God. Just, am I tripping? Am I tripping when I say that? Why does this feel a little authentic? Like, come on, man. They got the limes. I don't even think they got limes at Taco Bell. I don't even think that's in the refrigerator. I don't know. It's just like something about this is making me pretty happy. Look, look at that. Look at the lime. Look at the effort. Look at the taco. Oh my God. It, dude, it, wait, this is like Mexico. Am I crazy for saying that? Like, dude, it's like, isn't this a taco? Like, right? Am I tripping guys? Oh my God. The fuck? The fuck? Look what they're doing. Look what they're doing. And it's double cheeked up on a Thursday. Look at that right there, baby. Look at that shredded beef with cilantro and onions. Let's sauce her up. Oh. <laughs> Who told me to do that? Shame on you. Here we go. Can you believe it? Can you actually fucking believe it? Look at this. I'm gonna dip this double cheeked up taco into this beef sauce. Like, this is just, I don't even know what to say. Like, I'm horny doesn't even begin to describe it. Here we go. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Is this real life? I'm fucking dreaming. I'm fucking dreaming. This is Del Taco. Where's the Del Taco haters? I know exist. You know what? Del Taco tastes a lot better when you don't got a miserable bitch in your ear saying it's bad. You know what? If you are a Taco Bell whore, get your ass to Del Taco and try these birria tacos and you tell me what's your favorite. This is just like, I, trust me, I've been to Taco Bell a lot more than Del Taco. I'm very unbiased. You know, I say what's real. This is shitting on Taco Bell. It's shitting on Taco Bell. It's taking a fat shit on Taco Bell's chest. Here we go. Jesus fuck. Oh my fucking god. Penetrating the beef sauce. The sounds. Okay, I get it. But that just means it's good. When you hear those sounds that sounds like someone's beating their meat, that's just how you know it's good food, baby. The taco, I... You know what? I don't care. It's a five out of five. It is a five out of five. I actually, like, I felt something, like, inside me. I don't know if I needed a fart, but, like, I felt something inside of me. For what it is, it's a taco. It's a fast food restaurant taco. Good God. I don't know. It's just, like, you gotta get it. You gotta get it. It's, this might be one of my favorite things that I've ever reviewed, you know? Nothing really makes me feel like this, you know? It's hard for me to feel much in general, you know? And right here, right now, I'm telling you, this shit, this is heavenly. Now, I saved the best for last. Get excited. Oh, you farted? You yeah, I thought I smelled that. Ramen. Ramen. Ramen at a fast food restaurant. Can you believe it? At a taco restaurant. Ramen. Okay, that's not even the same culture. What's going on? I don't think I've ever seen ramen at a fast food restaurant. McDonald's. Burger King. What's going on? We got birria shredded beef. Birria ramen at Del Taco. I think they were in the meeting room taking like DMT or something. Because no normal thinking person thought of this. They were definitely like, they were definitely tripping nutsack. They were thinkers, you know, they were thinking in that
that writing room. This has to be bad. Oh, come on, Gabby. I think it's gonna be delicious, okay? 25 cent ramen at Walmart's good, you know? This has to be. Uh, I gotta go. Let's check out what's going on here. Lots of leaves in here. Maybe we should uh, stir it up, huh? It's okay. Daddy's gotcha. Let's stir it up. Let's see what's going on here. Oh my god. Okay, there's the shredded beef. There's the shredded beef. Oh, do you hear that? Oh my god. Is this real life? Oh, there's the noodles. There's the noodles. Can you believe that? Look at that. Beef, noodles. We even got a lime in there. We got cilantro. We got onion. So basically, guys, this is like a Mexican taco got turned into ramen. This is like a crossover episode between two cultures. This is crazy. I'm very excited for this. I see a lot of people in the comments are actually rather scared of it, but I'm excited. I'm excited for new things, you know, you gotta take risks in life. Put some more broth in there. I gotta eat it the way God intended it, baby. Let's just stir up, get that lime around, you know, let's stir up, okay? Are you guys the type of people to uh, shake your chipotle bowl or just eat it with the layers that it was God given? Looks dry. Okay, you know what? Does this sound dry? Does this sound dry? No. I, I think you know what that sounds like. Everyone keeps telling me to eat it. Okay, well, bitch, I was gonna. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. Let's indulge. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. Don't know what I think about it. The noodles are rather weak. I don't know if that makes sense, but they're just like, I don't know. You know what? Maybe we should get a little broth in here. Let's go crazy. Let's go fucking crazy. You only YOLO once. Here we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. Look at that. You guys might have snapped. You might have snapped. Look at that. Jesus Christ. Good fucking cum sock. That's crazy. Let's suck her down. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Good. Okay. Get a big uh, hunky chunk there. Don't mind the sauce on my face. I just discovered eating ass. Here we go. You know what? I'm not too crazy about this. Okay. I'm not. Oh, good Lord. My apologies, guys. Didn't mean to be a filthy little food slut in front of you. Let's say this. The noodles, they're very thin, okay? When I eat ramen noodles, I like the noodles to be at least a little chewy. I'm not talking like chewy chewy. I'm just saying like, I don't really like when the noodles kind of fall apart like paper in your mouth, you know? I'm a texture guy. I need something to bite on, you know? I need something to on, you know? So like, the fact that it's just falling apart in my mouth, yeah, I mean the beef's already falling apart for God's sakes. Everything's falling apart. You don't want to eat something if it's just all falling apart. I like the taco because, you know, at least you got a little, you got a little chew to the taco when you dip it in. But this, this is pretty much, this is like soup, you know, like everything's falling apart. And quite frankly, as a texture slut, I don't really like that. The roar, I could do the roar, do the roar. I could do this. You know, I walk up, walk up to soccer moms and do this. And then, um, and then. <laughs> Sorry, my bad, guys. You know what? It's never gonna happen again. It'll never happen again, okay? I'm sorry, guys. My bad, my bad, my bad. Okay, look. Yeah, you know, let's just forget I did that, okay? That's pretty much all I have to say, is that it just, like, do you, do you see how thin this is? Do you see how weak these noodles are? You know what, ramen? Maybe it makes sense why there's no ramen at fast food restaurants. I could maybe get down if uh, McDonald's had, like, a uh, had some type of ramen where it was, like, french fries instead of noodles. You know, a very whitewashed ramen, you know, like, and the sauce is a Big Mac sauce and uh, the uh, <laughs> the ramen juice is Big Mac sauce and the uh, the noodles are French fries. You know that's a, that might be something that you know I could find a mild interest in. But you know it's just not hidden for me. This is just one of those items where it needs to just stay with the culture that created it. This is a one out of five. There's just I I don't care if I'm the hungriest man alive. I don't think I would eat this ramen. I've been really hungry before. Where you know I'd be like you know what God damn it I'm gonna eat a grill. Granola bar, but I don't think I'd be hungry enough to eat this ramen. I'm actually pissed off. I had two bites of it. You know, that's one less bite of food tonight for me because you know I'm a little, I'm a little calorie conscious. I know it's cringe, you know, but I try to, I just try to eat a little bit of everything so uh, Mama Bear can still have her meal at night with her YouTube videos. I'm gonna have to say that the taco is definitely the star of the show, and the ramen is definitely the poop out the butt of the show. All around, Del Taco's birria menu. Like, good God. Good God, people. Um, some motherfucking, uh, I'm gonna have to give it a, a four out of five. You know, like, Jesus Christ. It's so daring. It's so bold. Like a fast food restaurant with ramen and birria tacos. Like, that's just, it's just very bold, you know, and I, I appreciate that a lot. I love whenever fast food restaurants take risks without it being a, a stupid ass item, you know? Nothing's worse than just a stupid ass item, you know? That it's like, how the fuck did this leave the meeting room but this is you know this is this is fun four out of five i i genuinely enjoyed this experience if you haven't tried
tried it, highly recommend it. Try the Del Taco Birria menu. You're gonna love it, toots. If you guys wanna be in these live videos talking to me through this chat right here, then go to twitch.tv slash jquiver69 and turn on the notifications so you don't miss my streams. Also, shop my merch right here. I have some new merch and oh my god, there's only like one of each size. So if you want it, get it. I think it's gonna, I think you're gonna look great in it, baby. Hope you guys have a beautiful day. Love you so much. Bye.